Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today we are heading back into, of course, the new DLC that we started last episode. It is the Forest or the Jungle Awakens. We did the dingy, the dingy jungle, whatever it is. And now we have Overgrown Temple is gonna be our next level. Before we do, I wanted to change up our layout a little bit. I've been working on it. I think maybe it's time then. I should probably move to this. I, I keep on salvaging things and I'll leave and I'll come back and there'll be more things. So I don't know what's going on there. I think the inventory's a little glitched, but I might as well do that. I think we're just gonna dedicate to changing some things up today. If it doesn't turn out well, then so be it, lesson learned. But I definitely think it's just sort of time. So I was looking at my two potential upgrades with this ax and with this sword, and I think that the sword is looking a little bit better. So I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna salvage this, get a bunch more points, just like that. Um, now go over to this. I wanted to upgrade, I think, fire aspect. Just like that. And then over here we have, um, this is the powerful upgrade uh, line. We have like critical hit, swirling, and radiance. I think I'm gonna do critical hit. Um, that'll give me extra critical chance. Might as well get all those. Um, and then for the bow, I'm gonna keep with what I have for now. It's just sort of my best bet. Uh, and then finally, we have this. We can either do potion barrier. Whenever you use a po healing potion, you take 90% damage for, or minus 90% damage. Or electrified rolling zaps, three nearby enemies. Like maybe this is better because we do have a faster roll now, but I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep with this. And then finally, we have either surprising or surprise gift. Whenever you use a healing potion, you sometimes create random consumables or food preserves. Whenever you use a healing potion, you also create food, random food items. I think maybe this is a little bit better. Let's try it uh, and see how it goes. We also have Flaming Quiver, TST Bone, and Boots of Swiftness. Don't know if this is gonna be a better setup, but at least it's different. We got some new weapons in this and we'll probably be getting some more as we go through. A Trick Bow, uh, some new artifact here in the Overgrown Temple. Let's read the story. Tangle in the temple. Deep within the jungle lies an overgrown temple, a place where nature has reclaimed its rightful place as ruler of the land. Could the shard have landed here? I guess we're gonna find out, and I'm pretty sure it has because it's the last level, technically, besides the secret mission that we'll be doing next episode. Well, but I'm seeing sp spiders, zombies, ocelots. Will be an interesting time. The last level was very long, so I'm expecting more of the same with this one. We'll have to go at it, though, and find out for ourselves. I'm excited, though. The shard fell deep within the jungle, where it spawned a horrible creature. The jungle abomination. This vile beast cannot be allowed to continue spreading the corruption of the orb. Tread carefully, for these overgrown temples harbor monsters that will fight to protect the source of their newfound power. Oh my. So yeah, the shard of the orb is making them even more powerful than they already are. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, there we go. So search for the temple. New objective. Only one way to go for it. Now, we also have our little parrot friend. I figured out I could equip him last episode at the end of it. So that was pretty cool. I guess he's sort of like a little uh, bonus. Oh, sorry, Ocelot. For. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have that burning effect working pretty well there. Uh, but yeah, it's just, you know, some kind of a bonus thing for, I guess, getting the uh, Jungle Awakened CLC. Let's get you. And what else do we have? We have you and you. There we go. Just sort of so far, trying out this sword a little bit, and it's going pretty well. Of course, our arrows are just as damaging as they were before, so that's nice, but I think just being able to throw out some fire damage is really nice. Yeah, let's try to get through here as much as I can, because most of my goal is just exploring whatever, wherever. There we go. I mean, this definitely is not the main way to go. I still have a lot to get used to here, and we also have fire arrows, which do some pretty massive damage. Oh my, oh my, we're stuck. There we go. Oh, that is a fast roll, isn't it? There we go. Still have to be careful. Like I said, there's some stuff I gotta get used to here. Spawn in our dog, by the way. I haven't done that. There's some extra armor. And what do we have over here? Ooh. First, let's do this. The fire quiver takes a long time to restore, though. I didn't realize that. There it goes. There's gotta be something cool around here, right? Not really. Yeah, we have two secrets and six chests to find, apparently, and none of them are over here. So let's get back over this way and see what else we can get done. So, got that zombie one hit takedown, not a problem. There's a lot of opponents around. I'm trying to do what I can about them. We don't have a ton of arrows for right now, but I am just trying to make the most with everything that I have. But if I do get a better bow, I will certainly be taking it. I really hope we do. We didn't get too much in terms of rewards last episode. Like we got a new whip, 
we got a couple of them, and a couple new um, of the Ocelot things, which is awesome, but not everything I sort of wanted. I was hoping that we could get a good slew of new things. We didn't get any new bows or anything, at least not anything worthwhile. And sometimes it takes a lot of replaying, but hey, we just got one right now. That's the trick bow, which the trick bow can be good. We gotta be careful though. It can be also not so good from what I remember. Uh, but let's take a look at it now. Trick bow is right over here. That is one point better than what we currently have. Um, oh no. Here come more zombies. Let's get over to them then. And I've been seeing we've been landing those critical hits. Exactly what I wanted. Gotcha. Open the gate. I will try. Probably could have done a better job at throwing out that TNT. But it's still got some of them, so that's nice. Running over there. Level up! We're already level 44. Wow, that snuck up on me quick. Happy about that for sure. So, level 44. And at this rate, we'll probably be able to get the level 45 in today's episode as well. So that's cool. Anyways, there's that done. Uh, rushing back over this way, we have you. Uh, use some fire arrows, because why not? They fire real quick, too. I mean, I could charge it up. I don't know if that actually makes a difference with the damage. We'll find out soon. But anyways, I got a little distracted there. This only has one upgrade line, so I'm not super happy about that, but it's 33 to 65 damage, but it hits multiple targets. Um, but the soul bow, this seems just like the better option for right now. Oh my gosh, yeah, stats-wise, for sure. Um, so never mind, not gonna go with that one. How do I open this door? I didn't really look around for that option. Aha, buttons. There's one button. I'm guessing that there is a, another button over this way. I do appreciate the faster roll. I do think that it makes up for the fact that you go a little bit slower after you roll. Gotcha. Okay, I just gotta keep in mind that it's worth it to be careful with the amount of arrows I have. But with the fire arrows, that definitely remedies some of it. Oh my. Uh, whoa, that's a big hammer. <laughs> Let's grab that. And it looks like there, there isn't much down this way, except for a couple more enemies. There we go. I missed this pot somehow, not anymore. But yeah, I salvaged a lot of the extra stuff that I've me been meaning to between episodes. Now we have over 5,400 emeralds, so I most certainly need to spend some of those at the end of today's episode, if I can remember. That'd be great. There we go. Getting rid of these guys without too much of an issue. Trying to land those critical hits when I can. You can tell it's a critical hit because the damage number will be red. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> but hopefully you did this far to the game. But hey, if not, you learn something new every day. What's going on over this way? There's a lot of water, but I think, yeah, we can walk into it. What is this gonna lead to? Oh, it's a chest, nice. Hopefully something good in this. Ooh, thief armor, which is actually one point below what I currently have. Don't know if that's gonna be any good then. It does also have two upgrade slots. It's worth considering, but there's also, ooh. What is this about? There's not gonna be another secret level, is there? That'd be cool if there is. Boom, let's get you. And all these guys. See, I'm not really sure what this is gonna lead to, but I'm very curious. Right now, I'm just holding onto this TNT for when we really need it. Let's hope that is, because you cannot throw them one at a time. There we go. See, I used my potion there, and I got a strength potion out of it, which is really cool. I do like that. I think I do like that a little bit more than if it dropped food, because it's already filling up my health. Why would I need food, you know? So, I'll take it. Oh, we got some of these guys. Wow, that was a major critical there. 955 damage with the strength potion. That's crazy. Very nice. So what's going on around today? There's definitely gonna be some opponents popping up. Time for that fire arrow I was just talking about. There we go. I'm trying to find out if, you know, bringing it back, like really charging up the bow is actually doing anything in that situation. It's hard to tell. I should like slice some of these guys. If I don't have to use all my arrows, I should probably avoid it. These guys are ranged, of course, but there we go. That's not all of them, though. There's a spider. Now, you guys, I probably should. Uh... Oh, I dodged that somehow. <laughs> Lucky me. I'm getting better at sort of figuring that out, though, and that's a pretty simple chest to get out of all that, but hey, better than nothing. So that is going to be zero to two secrets, but three out of seven chests found. And who knows, there might be more around. But yeah, will this unlock us another secret level like we did last episode? Because that would be cool. I'd be really happy about that. I don't know. There's still more to figure out here. Where does this lead? Oh my! What? Oh my gosh, I was about to say that's not fair. Two chests. Whoa! Thief and Ocelot armor. The Ocelot armor is slightly better, but it only has one upgrade slot, so 
technically better, not really better though. And it seems like there's more over here, but you can't really reach it. Okay, well, that's it then. So we gotta run all the way back now. <laughs> a little bit of a pain, but we should be able to make it without too much of a problem. But that was still a pretty cool diversion, even if I don't get too much out of it. Oh, there's more enemies back here now. They've come back. Well, that's good. It'll be at least a bit of an interesting time. Wow, they're setting up these vines everywhere. Uh, boom. Hit him with that fire. The fire works really good on these guys, what do you know? What's good is that, like, with the arrows, I wrote that with the arrows, with the sword, like, one swing will actually hit multiple things around you. It's like a really effective swing like that. I don't think that the scythes work that way, so that's really nice. Let's get this guy for sure. Yeah, now it says two out of two secrets found, so I guess both of those chests counted as their own individual secret for some reason. There's so many. So many. Come on, get this guy as much as we can. I dodged it, that was good. Ah, oh, that time I did not dodge it. There we go, we'll get the armor potion. I almost had the fire arrows. I threw that way too far. That's a shame. But I still got a couple of people. And now you. And another ocelot armor. Okay, woo. That wasn't good. <laughs> I fell right off the edge. Try that again. From here, maybe. There we go. That wasn't too bad. But there's more. There's always more. Oh, he was running away too. Sort of feel bad. Okay, but some good progress overall for sure. So back over this way now. I got a call over my dog. Don't know where he went. I guess he was still in the cave. <laughs> Let's get back up this way. And I'm not gonna use my healing potion just yet. I'll wait until we're actually fighting people because then I might be able to get, like I said before, like another strength potion out of it or something. And these seem to be giving me experience. Once again, not very much, but I guess I should probably take a little bit more time to destroy them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it was a trap. I think we can handle it, but we'll find out. Not much room in here. Oh, and they're creepers too. Ah, no way. Okay, we'll get some armor, that's good. Come on, hit those criticals. Now is a critical time to be hitting criticals. Wow, I didn't get hurt there like at all. Interesting, and that's another chest for us. We're halfway through with them. That was pretty cool. I love the, the theming going on, like all these ancient jungles and hidden traps and stuff, and the, the puzzle we had to solve last episode. Hopefully there's more like that around. Okay, let's back it up a little. That wasn't too bad, but I think it hurt our dog too, which is a shame. Hmm. There we go, definitely get rid of that guy. Still had some fire arrows left over, I suppose. Not too much going on over here. You got him, good job, pup. Oh no. So there's a, a whole lot of skeletons, more than anything else. Because there was an upgrade for the sword I could have chosen that was like extra damage to the undead, but I didn't know if that was just zombies or zombies and skeletons. I guess I could have been good, but I'm mostly using the bows and arrows against the skeletons anyways. So it'd mostly just be against zombies, which zombies are some of the easiest enemies in this game so far. I feel like out of everybody. So I didn't think it was a worthwhile one. Anyways, down here, do we have another opening to another secret? That'd be cool. Huh. No, we just got potions. And once again, it's a trap. Oh, let's get a wolf in here. <laughs> we'll want them to join us for this one. Why are they spawning in out there? At least it looked like they were going to. Yeah, this area's a lot more crowded, but honestly, that might play to my advantage. Not actually gonna be creepers this time either, so we're fine. We can handle this. There we go. One more over this way. Gotcha. Now this guy's a bit tougher, but we're landing those criticals. Oh no. Get this guy before he can spawn in the vines. Good job, Woof. Getting rid of that uh that creeper before he became a problem too. Awesome. We're storming through this without too much of an issue. We still also have to be careful of our arrows though. We only have 50 of them. Let's keep it going. Yeah, okay. Speaking of arrows, we got some more here that'll get us up to 85. And so let's see if we can't get these guys. I definitely need to dodge roll a little bit more often. It certainly helps and, you know, it can get me uh, just sort of closer to the action sooner. Okay. Now let's get over and get rid of the guy with the vines before it makes more of a mess of everything. We're supposed to be going up, so I'll be going down. 
And there's not much to it this time. No traps or anything? Alright. Hmm. There we go. Oh my. Oh my. We got him. He was frantically trying to put up those vines to protect him, but didn't quite work for him. Ooh, getting a supply chest, which must mean some stuff is coming up. That'll give us food. More importantly, some more arrows. And yeah, now we have a lot more arrows. We're up to 217. Oh my. Come on, we can get these guys much easier. There's our strength potion. Just really chopping through that swiftness for sure. I guess that's it. We still have 20 seconds of a strength potion, so I'm trying to make the most of that. Ooh, behold the jewel. All right, jewel. What is that supposed to be? It's just, a, it's a random jungle jewel. All right, survive the ambush. I'll do what I can. We still have a couple of seconds of extra strength. I'm trying to make the most of it. There it is, not too bad. Whoa, hoo -hoo. too close with those creepers. I love the fire arrows, they're so much fun. I'll toss it over there for that guy. Mmm, critical hits. Dodge that, it didn't even hit me. No, my wolf though, you monster. You're, like, you're quite a little yara monster, what do you know? There we go, keep at it. Nice, and gotcha. So let's use this potion, we get a couple more potions out of it, which is always good. Now you. Oh, the creepers though, didn't get me. That's great, but I'm a little surprised. Oh, oh, that got me. Be careful now. We got the fire arrows stacking up. Oh, ho, ho. once again, be careful. I do not know what's going on over there, but there's some apples. Man, oh man, it just doesn't stop. They did not want me to touch that jewel. What does the jewel do? Who knows? New objective, go to the temple center. I will soon. First, let's check out if there's anything cool around here. I don't think there's gonna be. Usually these areas don't have much. They're usually just for battling. But you never know until you try. <laughs> there's some vines hanging out. We burn them away. Okay. So down this way, I heard what sounded like an Enderman, but I don't, I don't see one just yet. I guess I'll do this with a Swiftness Potion, Strength Potion. And here he is. I was talking about you. Come on, once he shows back up, land those criticals on him. That's some good work, but not quite enough. Oh, he's burning up. Come on, there it is. Awesome, we get another trick bow. So we'll have to see about that one. I really don't know if that's gonna be worth our while. I wanna toss that, no, not down there. I didn't realize that was like a little ridge. Huh. Well, that's stunk. It definitely slicing through all these guys without too much of an issue either. That was good. That's a dead end as well, so let's go check it out. We have a lot more arrows now. We almost have our potion again, but once again, let's wait until we're closer to the action. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, potion time. What do we get out of all that? I guess a creeper exploded. I don't know what happened there. But all we got this time was a swiftness potion. Not so exciting, but come on, gotcha. I mean, we're making some great progress through this level, it seems. And we're halfway to level 45. Hmm. Now this might be a bit more complicated. Get rid of that creeper first. Thank you. Now you, mister. We got it. Yeah, I like it when they're all in big groups because we can actually take care of that no problem with the swords. That was a bit of an issue with the scythes that we've been using for a while. But not too much with these, so that's good. Or they're sickles, I think they are. Yeah. Oh, that was, this was actually the wrong way. I honestly believe that was going the correct direction there. We had the, uh, go that way, I missed it. Okay, turn him back. I am trying to be careful though. I feel like we've been doing a good job, but you can never be too careful, right? We almost lost all of our lives last episode, so but the difficulty really started jumping up towards the end of it. Haven't run into that issue too much yet, but it might happen. Did I get any potions there? I don't know. I got the potion barrier. That's nice, but, oh, here we go. Let's get that. And these guys are tough, but we can get them. Oh, lots of enemies. Yeah, are we gonna do anything with that jewel, or was that just sort of like a random excuse for a bunch of enemies to pop up? Who knows? That was just weird, because nowhere did it mention you must find the jungle jewel. 
That was just there for another adventure. There's probably some other guy in the jungle right now. Like, I must find that jewel. And he's never going to find it. I have it. Poor guy. Oh, well. Well, this jungle's only big enough for one adventure, I suppose. What do we got going on down this way? I think good enough that I could get a potion. Once again, if we can keep our distance from these guys, a much better deal. Nothing over here for me, but there could have been. So back over this way, go across the logs without falling off, please. Oh no. Gotcha. Now might be the time for some fire arrows. There we go. Now you. I don't know, sometimes the fire arrows are not doing as much damage as I'd hope, but I'm working on it. Oh boy, now you. It actually wasn't too bad. Okay, move it, Mr. Vines. <laughs> so we're still working our way towards the temple center. I mean, I don't even feel like we're in a temple yet, so we must have a while to go. Okay, watch it. We got some extra arrows for that one, so that's pretty good. Get those critical hits to watch it. Once again, that didn't hurt me because of the potion barrier. Awesome. So, I mean, I guess I did. It was only 10% instead of the full 100. So, anything else going on down this way? Anything of interest? It looks fancy, but not really. Okay, still trying to be very diligent. I don't know if there's any other secret levels left to find. We found the one Panda Plateau. There we go. That was probably a, sort of a waste of arrows, but so be it. Gotta roll around more. <laughs> Not only is it fun, but it's pretty productive. Get rid of this guy before he opens up the major criticals now. Okay, back it up now. Get that armor, extra arrows. That's always good, but there's more. <laughs> We're getting them. Awesome. Now, watch it. They're a lot like the, uh, the guys who make the little totems. Yeah, that's interesting. Actually, I didn't notice that. Of course, this was an area that was untouched by um, the Arch Illager. And because of that, we haven't seen a single Illager type enemy. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm glad they kept it with that consistency and they didn't just throw in more enemies for variety's sake. I mean, obviously variety is good, but not without the proper context, you know what I mean? So that's really cool that there is sort of like an ongoing story with that. You know, the Arch Illager may be defeated and we've gotten rid of all the Illagers, but there is still more enemies to defeat. And that's cool. I just like a nice consistent story like that. Let's pick up this apple over here. I'll call on my wolf again because I think he got taken out earlier. Really trying to get rid of this guy before it becomes a problem. Didn't quite work out, but the melon's helping. Oh my gosh, there's just enemies everywhere all the time. Okay, the wolf is going for that guy. I'm going for that thing. Nothing of interest up here? Actually, don't speak so soon. There's certainly something up here. There we go. Seems just like an alternate path out. So he can actually raise some of the... Interesting, I didn't see that before, but the vine guy can actually raise some of these purple plants. Let's get rid of him first then. There we go. That seems to be everything so far. Be gone with you. I think we need to get a wolf back, unfortunately, but we'll wait for that to restore. And I'm just slicing through these guys as much as I can before I have to activate this potion. Oh, there's a strength potion for us too. But first off, what's down this way? Oh, we're gonna have more traps, right? Yep, there it is. So, let's drink that, get some extra armor, and I'm willing to fight whoever I need to fight. Creeper first, there's gonna be a bunch of creepers, probably. So we just need to attack them as they show up. Because if not, we're going kablooey like that. It really isn't doing, oh my gosh, as much damage as it was doing before. There we go. Is that everybody? That's everybody, we got another trick bow. We're getting a bunch of those today. It's been nothing but trick bows. This is the only one that's any higher, and once again, it does not have two upgrade slots. So, actually, no, 42 right here. Hmm. Let me equip it real quickly. You know what? Maybe we should go for it. I mean, I just feel like, statistically, like, obviously, it might have better upgrades. Projectiles do more damage to enchanted enemies. I don't know if that's really worth it. 
Um, these are powerful, though. We got this effect pulls mobs in range towards um, the, the impact point. Increases your attack speed is okay. Tempo theft steals a small amount of the mob's movement speed and gives it to you for four seconds. I don't know. Because if you look at the actual stats and we switch it out, you're seeing just all it is is like everything else is exactly the same. It's just less power. I don't know if that sounds good good enough for me then. Don't think that this is the one we're looking for, you know? So we're just gonna keep at it. I know we can find some bread in here, which should restore our health a decent amount. And now you over here, sir. We gotta get out of here. So unlock the sun gate, Tangle Temple. I would love to. Okay, ooh, more strength potions. There we go, before he can hit me. That's what I'm talking about. Who do we got over this way? Plenty of enemies trying to make the most of this. There we go. Of this, whatever it's called, the, the strength potion. 373 critical hit there too. And now you. Wow, <laughs> that was great. We got a couple seconds left on this critical, or this increased damage. Ah, oh, that was a bad idea. But if we're starting to get low on health, that's when we can get another strength potion out of it. This is such a good upgrade, I like it. Just being able to get more extra stuff out of everything is fantastic. What do you want? Get out of here. Okay, so far, not too bad. Looks like we cleared out all the enemies, or at least most of them. Oh, this is a puzzle. Gotcha. So we'll do that in just a moment. If this door is locked, try to open it. Not much is gonna happen. But there's still other things to take a look at. So I definitely wanna explore that first. I'm sure there might be a hint on this puzzle. I mean, the puzzle might have just been making all the, uh, the statues face the center. But worry about that in just a moment. Oh man, I tried to dodge him, and ended up just going right into his attack. The fire damage has been great so far though. Been really happy about that. Why can I not attack? This guy is like stuck up there. That was weird. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I just can't move at all right now. Okay, something bizarre is going on. I don't like it. Wow, they are going at me right now. This is bad, this is bad, I am stuck. Okay, TNT, throw it, run, 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 run. Let's hope that TNT helps. I think it did, wow, that was something else, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, we gotta get rid of these vine guys right away because they are creating more ranged enemies I can't compete with right now. My goodness. Okay, they're gone. Thank goodness with that. Now we have you. Okay, I sliced it before you could get me. Good stuff, but there's always another one. Come on, set you on fire, take you out, do whatever we gotta do. Now you, please, get out of here. Wow, and all their vines go away as soon as you do that. Whoa, so that, oh, there's the key, okay. So what is with that other part of the puzzle? Now I'm a little concern, concerned, confused. There's a lot going on right now. Okay, we got the Shadow Brew, which is great, but the armor is more important to me right now. Oh no, here we go again. Get as many as I can. They're sort of just standing there right now, which is helpful for me. I think it's because of the Shadow Brew, right? Oh, and there's level 45. I didn't even realize that happened so quick. Okay, hold on. We're in a bit of trouble here. Just a spot of it. Get rid of the big guy first. Such a small room to deal with a guy that big. I don't like it. And there we go. Another chest for us as well. And we press that button. So now we gotta go into the other room and do the same thing. I'm a little bit worried though, because we don't have as much health. I think we can handle it first and then that potion will show up. So who can I hit? Ready? Gotcha. Okay. I'll grab that shadow brew. And when things are getting a little nasty here, like right now, we'll get all that. Okay, get rid of this guy. Ow, be gone with you. There's so many, there's so many people here. My gosh, what am I supposed to do about that? And they're just gonna go for me again. I need to get rid of this guy. Oh, we're in so much trouble. There's not enough room in there to fight those guys. That's a little unfair. Okay, well, they're all still over there, so we're just gonna well, you know what I can do? I can just from up here give you a hard time. Ha! Who's winning now? Isn't that great? That was fantastic. So that's another chest for us. Wow, that was that was crazy. We also have TNT now. But more than that, I have this little key guy. 
And I hope that we don't get hurt on the way back, but I think we'll be fine with that. There doesn't seem to be any more enemies left. We took them all out. Yeah, I'm super, oh no, I spoke too soon. Oh no, oh no, wait, dodge. Okay. Quickly open the door with this guy. Reach the sun room. Now my question is, there's clearly still more to do in this room. Let's get rid of you. Thank you. What is going on with this? Because I think that if we turn these guys around and make them all face this centerpiece, you can see that it's doing something with these guys here. There we go. And then there was another guy on this side. What are you doing? Can you stop? Thank you. And let's turn this guy to do the same thing. Oh! Oh, we figured it out! What's going on down here? That is so cool. Wow, so this is gonna be its own huge temple. But we're supposed to be entering the sun room and abolishing the abomination. We'll do it at some point, but we're busy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I don't know which way is like the right way to go right now. How are they all over here? Oh, there's a little secret entryway. Interesting. Okay, I can't go back in the way I came in. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the angling is a little weird. This whole area is a little tricky so far. Don't. Hmm. Okay, getting rid of as many bad guys as I can. Got that swift potion. And you. So actually this area is not, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, not looking too bad, and then I looked at it again. It's getting bigger. No. We got some apples. But I always love the secrets like this. Like, we could have totally missed this. So this has to be something cool by the end of it, I would hope. Guess we'll find out. Oh, that's a good chest. What do we got inside of here? Another great hammer. That's a common weapon, so a bit disappointing, but we'll keep going. I'm sure we'll find more new stuff soon, because we're at the nine out of 12 chests, two out of two secrets. Definitely grab that swift potion, not swift, shadow brew. They won't be able to see me. Until it's too late. <laughs> There we go. So far we're doing an okay job exploring this, even though it is a little wonky. Oh, so what will that button do? Um, I guess, open some stuff up. Oh, now we gotta go all the way back. I gotta fight you. Get him, get him quick. There's something. There we go. There's more, there's always more. No, get my dog. Somehow I didn't take too much damage there. There's still plenty more enemies left, so don't speak so soon. There we go. Not too bad, actually. So let's heal up a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have done that so soon, though. Who knows? So back over this way. I guess it gave me a chest for that. Thank you. More Ocelot armor. <laughs> hey, I guess it's something. Oh my, here we go again. Okay, now's my chance to attack. You just moved. They take a couple of seconds after they attack, so that's sort of their weak point. Timing that one, there's like three of them attacking you in a tiny room now, that's a little bit difficult. So this seems to be the right way for now. And I guess I've gone, well, there is like a little room here, but just as a little pot. We have almost 6,000 emerald. I don't really need it. So I'm not worried about it. Now that is all closed off. There's definitely gonna be an opening, aha! Oh boy, here we go again. Let's press these buttons, see what they do. <laughs> I don't know just yet, but I'm curious. Okay, maybe not the best way to do that. There we go. I got a swiftness potion, I press these buttons. What do we got here? Thief armor. All right. Let's beat these guys up now. I think I pressed all the buttons. From what I can tell, I did. So, heading back over here now. Yeah, okay, cool, we did it. That was actually pretty easy. So what is this room gonna have? Who knows? Whoa. I don't know what's with this big tower. Doesn't seem like there's much you can actually do with that. Not too much in this corner. There's gotta be something going on here. Oh, the music's starting to pick up. Yep, here it goes. Just wanted us to get farther into the room, I guess. Oh my. Uh, I haven't been using the fire arrows as much as I should be. Let's do that now. Got some thief armor. Wow, creepers, no, don't do it. Getting rid of that guy. And you. There's still more where that came from. Oh my, and it's three of them, but this time we have so much more space to deal with them. 
I, I was tempted to use my potion just for some extra stuff, but definitely worth it to wait for that. How did they still know where I was? I had the Shadow Brew on. Weird. Okay, get rid of that guy without a problem. Now just me and him. I can handle that. Oh, but there's more. There's always more. Get the wolf back out here. Gotcha. And that's all of them. Awesome. And that's gonna give us more thief armor. As if I needed it. And where are we now? Oh wow, we're back over the entrance. That's actually a pretty cool way of doing it. So there we go. Super sneaky area. No hidden level though. So I guess not. So what's gonna go on over this way? Hmm. Abolishing the abomination. I don't know how easy that's gonna be, but. Oh, I guess we gotta defeat some enemies. I was like, hello. Open up. Knock, knock. Oh, we'll get a strength potion for that. Thank you very much. Got a corridor of creepers we gotta deal with to get through this. Thank you. So far, not too bad. Even the wolf is getting in pretty easy. I like it. We still have 15 seconds worth of uh, strength potion here, so making the most of that as much as I can. Oh, here we go again. There we go, one hit takedown on everything. Don't mind if I do. There's more though. Come on, just a couple more seconds left on the strength potion. And it's gone. I guess now we get another one out of that potion. I've been doing okay timing the potion so that we don't take as much damage, which is always preferred. Can I roll across that? I can't, I was gonna say. Be able to cheat a little bit. Oh my, here we go. Is this the sun room? There's a big sun in the center. Defeat the jungle abomination. Whoa, he's huge. My gosh. Ooh, definitely get rid of these guys as soon as we can, because they're gonna be tough to deal with. Uh, get the wolf back out here, because I guess we don't have him here now. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. We gotta get rid of these guys first, because if not, they're gonna cause us problems. No, 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 no. There we go. Now you. All my focus is on you. I hope you're happy about that. He's a, he's a slow walker, though. He walks abominably slow. <laughs> now is not the time for puns. We need to defeat him. Actually not doing too bad so far. And these bosses are usually pretty tough. Here we go, let's use all the fire as we can. Already got him down to his uh, first third, and we're still going. He's calling more friends over, I think. Here they come. All right. Yeah, let's get our wolf to actually help with these guys a little bit. The sooner we can get rid of these guys, the better. That wasn't too much, though. Now we can use a potion. It was only a swift potion. I was hoping that we could get some extra strength out of that. Oh no, now the big guys are coming in again. I can't even see them from here. Oh, hit that critical twice in a row. Thank you. Dodge that. Extra dodge speed, working out pretty well here. Ah, okay. Well, I only have so much of it. Whoa, what are these? That was weird. Come on, keep at it. Let's hit him with the fire arrows. Nice. We're getting him right now. Why is he, he is just like stunned. What is going on right now? We're burning him up really good. Come on, get those criticals, dodge at. I know he's about to attack me. Come on, keep at it. We almost got him here. What do we get that time, Shadow Brew? That's not too bad. Come on, and, oh, that didn't even hurt me. There we go, we defeated the jungle abomination. That was surprisingly not too bad. I like it. Awesome. So overgrown, overthrown, find a way out. Okay, well it looks like right here, got a pretty clear way out. Still more enemies waiting for us though. Just because we defeated the abomination doesn't mean that the whole jungle is taken over. But I guess another day is saved. Another potential threat getting more power from the orb dismantled. That's good, oh, we got this guy again. Where's my wolf at? That'll help. No, you don't, mister. See, we gained a couple of level ups from this adventure as well. Now we're halfway through level 45. It seems like there's still more though. So let's not, uh, you know, hold my breath just yet. Might still be able to get more. Okay, there's a lot of enemies. Just because you defeat the abomination does not mean this is gonna be easy. Oh man, okay, they pushed me into the water there. I do not appreciate that. I'm still taking some major damage. Okay, get rid of you, because you had like no health left. Definitely the swiftness potion. This guy's like stuck so I probably shouldn't let him hit me. <laughs> oh my gosh, get that apple. Is that everybody? No, there's still you. There we go. 
That seems like everybody, right? I guess so. This door is, oh, I gotta press the button. And there we go. Level complete, level complete. With the jungle abomination defeated and the shard destroyed, the jungle begins to recover from its nightmare. Wow. So there we go. I guess we rescued one of the shard pieces. Lots of hard work, but a very fun little adventure for sure. Overgrown temple, 151 healing done, one player's down, that was me. 6,000 damage taken, 67%, really, only 67? What did I miss? Who knows? Anyways, as you can see, we got the wind horn. We already got a couple of those, but good to have another, I suppose. See, that was a lot of fun. Next episode, we'll be doing the final secret level to this, um, uh, Jungle Awakens DLC, which is the Panda Plateau. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, there's no picture to it for some reason. By the way, that's what we're checking out next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the Overgrown Temple as much as I did. That was a lot of fun. There's still something more to find here. I'll try to find it at some point. You know, that's just sort of a matter of chance and just continually trying over and over again. But yeah, that's the main portion of the CLC done. I would love to hear your thoughts on it so far. Next episode, we'll do that one level. That's cool, but for right now, let's go over to the Wandering Trainer and see if we can't get anything else. Totem of Shielding. I'm looking for better, I mean the feather's good, but Boots of Swiftness is always nice to have. I don't know if that's better than the one I have, but if I could get a better Fire Arrow, Flaming Quiver, is that better than what I have? 42, 36, thank you very much. Salvage that one, uh, salvage this. And let's just go to artifacts here. This one's worse than that one. This one is worse than the other one I have. 38, so this is 37. 36. Hmm. And these boots are a little bit better. Are they actually, like, statistically any different, though? No, they're both 1.8 second duration and 5 second cooldown. So, like, what's the difference, really? I mean, it ups your character power, I guess, over time. Supposedly, that would sort of make sense. Um, anyways, salvage that. And I guess we could get some other stuff from the other guy, but we also have all this gear, none of which, or not much of it. What is this? Speed synergy... Uh, I think I'm gonna trade that one away. Yeah, not too much I'm actually looking at and like, oh, I want. So we can just salvage all of that for 25 each. Not too bad. Yeah, so I spent some emeralds there before, so already back down to 5,000, but, you know, I think overall we made some good progress today. I just wanna see if I can't get a couple more weapons from the blacksmith. Soul robe is okay. Um, a glaive. We'll do this three more times. We'll get five pieces of gear. Claymore, not really my style. Harp Crossbow. Apparently I've already received this one, but half musical instrument and fully and fully deadly weapon. Uh, the Harp Crossbow is the life of the party. Is that a, that's unique. That's the first time getting a unique from a blacksmith though. And it's 41. Mmm, that's good. Okay, let's take a look at that. Thank you, Mr. Blacksmith, that's great. And it's like, it's very like damage appropriate for what we're currently at, so that's great. We'll do it one more time. Scatter crossbow, which is not quite as good as what we currently have. So I'm actually really happy with that. How much would this give us? 51. So we're just gonna go ahead and salvage that. I think I'm done with that one. <laughs> I'm really happy with that, for sure. So let's go ahead and upgrade this then. Um, we have accelerate, power, or growing. Boost arrow damage. That seems like a no-brainer to me. We also have infinity, chance to immediately replenish an arrow after shooting. Wild rage, hitting an enemy has a chance to send it into a rage. Or ricochet, small chance for arrows to ricochet off of mobs. I actually like this one the best. Keeping those arrows up might be our best bet. Um, there we go, very cool. Really happy about that. Um, we don't need this. And same thing with most of these swords. I'm not seeing anything that's particularly all that better. I mean, maybe this axe, I'll take a look at that one between episodes. Uh, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.